Hi, and welcome back to our Learn DQL by Use Case series. If you're new here, my name is Sinisha, and I'm a developer advocate at Dynatrace. As a Kubernetes admin, I need to understand whether we have problem hotspots in certain areas such as nodes, namespaces, or workloads from specific teams. Dynatrace DQL allows me to get these answers by filtering and grouping problems on tags which come from Kubernetes labels or annotations. I've prepared this notebook with a step-by-step -step instruction on how to craft the DQL query to group all problems by Kubernetes namespaces. You can apply the same step-by-step -step guide to any other metadata available as tags on problems. First, I'm fetching all Davis problems. Since all updates for Davis problem are stored in Grail, we need the most recent one. You can find the Kubernetes namespace information within the tags of a Davis problem. Therefore, let's sort the problems by timestamp descending and retrieve the most recent tags by display ID. Now we have for every problem an array of tags. To filter down on the tags array, we must expand the array. The expand command produces as many new records as there are elements in the tags array. Because we are only interested in problems with Kubernetes namespace, let's filter on it with the matches value function. For the final result, I will summarize the records with the count aggregation function by the tag. If you want to get rid of the tag prefix, you can use the substring function. Now you can visualize the result as a donor chart. For more details, go to the notebook link in the description below. Stay tuned for more Learn DQL by Use Case videos.